In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Joseph the Worker. May dear friends let us call to mind our sins and once again ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the blessed Mary, the virgin, virgin, all the angels, angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and on earth, earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God Heavenly King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For You alone are the Holy One, You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of Saint Joseph and under his patronage, may we complete the works that you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image, he cre created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food, and to all the animals of the land, and all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food, and so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day, God has, was finished with the work he had been doing. God rested on the seventh day from all the works he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it rested from all the works he had done in creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the word were brought forth from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. 
You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in the sight are as yesterday, now that is past, or as watch of the night. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at a daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Please stand there. Blessed be the Lord day by day, God, our salvation, who bears our burdens. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him and have seen him. But Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. And Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say she was the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else, Believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than this because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. May dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. It is very clear in today's gospel from the words of Jesus. He was telling all his apostles that if you know me, then you also know my Father. Definitely, we have no exact knowledge about the Father in heaven. But definitely, Jesus is telling, giving them the sense of enlightenment that simply look at me and definitely you will gain full knowledge of the Heavenly Father. And indeed, it is very true. And that is actually something that, after all, sustained the apostles. They continued to believe in Jesus. They continued the, to follow the words of Jesus, imitate the works of Jesus, and they imitated it in the name of the Father. And speaking of fatherhood, my dear friends, today we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph. And specifically on the aspect of St. Joseph, the father of Jesus, as the worker. And if there is something that we can learn from Jesus to get us to know more about St. Joseph, I think it is something to do with the aspect of obedience of Jesus. Ito yung hindi natin kilala si San Jose. Malimit yung, yung, yung ating pag-unawa kung sino nga ba si San Jose. But then, following the words of Jesus in today's gospel, simply look at Jesus. And indeed, you will clearly see who St. Joseph is. And that is in the context of obedience. Indeed, Jesus has been so obedient ever since from the beginning 
that even to the point of death, he continued to manifest that sense of obedience. And with that, we can have that idea that St. Joseph is also a very obedient man. And consistently, knowing from all his stories, naririnig natin sa mga kwento sa Bible, sa Biblia, kung paano siya sumunod, tinanggap at inako yung pagiging ama ng Diyos. He is indeed a very obedient one. That is why in today's feast, at the same time today is a holiday, I think if there's one more lesson that we can really imbibe, that we need to imbibe in our religious life, is the aspect of obedience. Mahalaga po ang aspeto ng obedience. Ang pagsunod. Mahalaga. At sana sa pagsunod na ito, ito ang siyang magpapabuo ng ating buhay. Bakit mahalaga? Sa pag, kapag ang obedience will penetrate all other aspects of our lives, then definitely you will end up to be a very better person. You can be, uh, and you will end up to be a better one. Alimbawa, if you transmit that sense of obedience in you in your words, then definitely lahat ng mga magagandang salita na lalabas sa iyong bibig ay mga salitang totoo at naaayon sa Diyos. And if we tend to, we learn to transmit this sense of obedience in our actions, well, ganun din. Tiyak, lahat ng ating mga gagawin, lahat ng maging kilos natin, mabuti. At higit sa lahat, if we transmit that sense of obedience in our decision making, well, tiyak na lahat ng maging direksyon ng buhay natin, matuwid at naaayon sa kabutihan at sa katotohanan na may malasakit sa kapwa at naaayon sa Diyos. Kaya simple lang, in today's feast, be mindful of that sense of obedience. The obedient Jesus, the obedient Saint Joseph. And if we are able to imbibe that truly, then definitely, we will be so pleasing in the eyes of God. Kaya nga, today is Labor Day. Because we celebrate the feast of Saint Joseph as the worker. And indeed, I truly believe that obedience is best manifested in the context of work. Because you can only fulfill your work if you obey. And you can only see the meaning in your work if you obey wholeheartedly. And definitely, your work will end up to be a service to other people if it is deeply rooted in obedience. At kapag obedience po na yung nai-imbibe natin sa buhay natin bilang isang empleyado o manggagawa, Definitely, kahit gaano kahirap yan, you will always end up to be peaceful. After all, there is this principles, this certain moral principle that obedience is the best expression of freedom. Kapag obedience yung nai-imbibe mo sa buhay mo, obedience yung prinsipyo mo sa buhay mo, tiyak, magaan ang kalooban mo. Diba? Pero kapag kasinungalingan yan, kapag pagsuway yan, nako, nako, delikado. Konsensya pa lang, hindi ka napatutulogin. Walang mapayapang kalooban at pag-iisip. Kaya mahalaga yung aspeto ng obedience sa atin. And today, we are being reminded of this as we celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph, the worker. And indeed, we are all workers in the vineyard of God. We have our own work as well, depending on our status in life. Ko anumang level sa lipunan, lahat tayo, we do have our own work. And if there is something that will give us that peaceful mind and heart, 
in our work in the vineyard of the world of God as we continue to work in our, in our life is to truly imbibe the value of obedience. Please stand. Let us pray to St. Joseph the worker as we pray for all our needs and for every petition we shall say, multiply the works of your, our, the fruits of our works, Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord, that the church may continue to proclaim the values of justice as the source of our peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord, that government leaders and economists may work for equitable distribution of riches and promote human dignity to all. Let, let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord, that businessmen may place their econ economic interests at the service of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord, that the poor and the unemployed may find decent means of li livelihood. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord, that the faithful departed who toiled his earthly life may have their recompense in the next life. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. In silence, we offer to God all our personal intentions. Father of our Redeemer, as we unite our prayers with the intercession of St. Joseph, the worker, help us to see dignity of work in our actions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please, please be seated. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, font of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of Saint Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon him. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son 
who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim who worship together with exultation. And may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the Lord. It is all me. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from, from and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. And happy feast day, everyone. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, may we ever enjoy the fruits of perpetual peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall all together pray the act of consecration to St. Joseph. Hail St. Joseph, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, God our Father entrusted to you his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ Jesus became man. One with our Lord Jesus and the Blessed Mother, we honor you with sincere love and veneration. We choose you this day to be our Father, our guardian, and our protector. God our Father has allowed us to celebrate this year dedicated to your honor and also to the joyful 500th year anniversary of Christianity in our land. With grateful hearts, we recognize you as a great gift of God to us to be our companion, teacher, model, protector in this jubilee year. We come to you to consecrate our people, the Church of the Philippines, our dioceses, parishes, and families. With fatherly love and care, you provided and built the life of the Holy Family of Nazareth. We humbly beg you to bless all our undertakings and to help us build the Church, the body of Jesus Christ, in obedient faith, steadfast love, and unwavering hope in our loving Father. You were always ready to listen and obey the Father's will and protected Jesus from all dangers. Deliver us from all dangers that destroy the gospel values and teachings in our land. Protect all as we battle against all moral and physical illnesses in our society. We entrust to you all our longing and desires that lead us to salvation. We entrust to you all our families and all fathers that they may be true to their vocation as mirrors of the love of our Father in heaven. We entrust to you all our works to help our brothers and sisters in their sufferings. To you, St. Joseph, after Jesus and Mary, we consecrate our body and soul with all that we are and have. St. Joseph, to us to show yourself a father Guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Amen. We shall now turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in our church in Lingayen, Dagupan. For every petition, we shall say, Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary, walk with the seminarians in their journey of priestly formation, mere help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire your youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds, mere help of Christians. We grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostle, apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend our young men seeking their vocation in life, mere help of Christians. We grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you the beloved disciple of the foot of the cross, Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call of the priest, mere help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Accompany you with your help, your priests, as they follow your son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Muli po, maraming salamat sa inyong pakikiisa nitong ating banal na misa, nitong kapistahan ni San Jose. Ako'y natutuwa, halos puno po ang ating basilika. 
Alalahanin natin, as we celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker, let us be mindful of the value of obedience, especially in the context of our works. Alam ko, may mga pangangailangan din tayo, but sige lang, tsaga lang, just respect the process, obey, and definitely, at the end of our work, God will provide. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We shall now do the prayer for the blessing of the sick and blessing for all religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and the glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, and all religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.